everybody, welcome back for another sublimation tutorial. Today we're going to look at how we sublimate onto dark fabrics. There is an alternative way to sublimating and it is onto heat transfer vinyls. In the corner here, I'll post a picture of the materials that you can use to sublimate onto that you'll put onto your shirt with a heat press. Alright, so I'm on my Cricut Design Space for this specific project. You want to upload your PNG file for this specific project. You'll click on the file and you will want to duplicate the file. And once you have your file duplicated, don't change the size. You want to make sure both images are the exact same size or it won't work properly. Um, take one of the files and go to operation and click on the basic cut. This here is what you're going to cut your vinyl with. And this is going to be the base layer that you'll sublimate your PNG colorful layer onto. So the next step here, I like to go ahead and do my cut first. So you'll hide your PNG file and you'll click on that. You'll go up to make it. And from here, you want to make sure uh, whatever mat size you're using is correct. And you will want to make sure that you mirror your image. And that way, it's going to fit on to your paper. It's going to be the right size. Because when you mirror um, the picture of your PNG file, you want to make sure that you can read it if there's words especially. Otherwise, it's going to be backwards. So we'll go ahead and push continue. All right, so now that this has come up, um, my what I use for especially the glitter uh, vinyl, it's a lot heavier and it's thicker. I use my cardstock 80 pound. Um, it presses harder, so it's gonna give a better cut. And then you'll load your mat, you'll load your paper onto your cutting mat and then load the mat, and then you'll get it uh, going and cutting. All right, so now that we have our image cut out, we're gonna remove it from the cutting mat. Just remove your, well, if you used it, remove your tape. Go ahead and start weeding out your image. If you have excess, you can go ahead and just cut it off. And that way you can use it for another project. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start weeding our image out. Okay, so now that we have all of our little bits weeded out, make sure you don't have anything else stuck to the paper. Just go ahead and take it off. And you should have your design like this. And this is what we'll go ahead and tack to our shirt, and then we'll sublimate our image onto it. All right, so now that we have that file cut out, you can go back and unhide your PNG colorful file. We'll zoom out a little bit there. And then you'll hide the actual cut file. So the basic cut, you'll hide that. And now we'll go ahead, and this takes another step where you actually print it out and then put it onto your cutting mat and then have the Cricut uh, cut it out. So we'll have that highlighted Go to make it. And again, very important step is to mirror. Do not forget to mirror or your image will come out. It'll be printed correctly, but you'll sublimate it backwards. So you actually end up sublimating like it looks here instead of the correct way. So we'll go there and then you'll press continue you'll send it to your printer. And that's what I'll do. Once you have it printed out and finished, you'll load your printed image onto your Cricut cutting mat and load it into your Cricut and have it cut. So you'll go through an extra couple of steps. But again, I'm gonna do mine just a little bit differently and just cut my image out um, with some scissors. 
because my Cricut's just not doing what I need to do right now. Your shirt flat on top of a heat mat uh, press and then make sure all the lint is off with either a lint roller or I just use tape um, just to make sure no dog hair lint cat hair um, or anything is under the vinyl because it'll leave little bumps and you can see um, where they are so we'll go ahead and heat our shirt just a little bit nothing crazy so the first thing we're gonna do is tack our vinyl down just center it to where you want it to be. And for this, we're only gonna be at about 300 and only tack it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, otherwise, it'll shrink it, it'll burn it. Um, and on top of that, we're gonna come back and resublimate on it. So we don't wanna give it too much heat just yet. So we'll go ahead and tack our vinyl. All right, so I'll go ahead and get that taken off and then just very slowly peel back to get um, the clear layer off. And if you get little pieces that come off on the edges, just lay it back down and kind of flatten it out. But as long as you go really slow, you shouldn't have any issues just like that. All right, so from this point, you do want to keep going. That way your um, vinyl doesn't shrink or get smaller because then your image isn't going to fit. Um, and yes, some vinyls do shrink um, as they cool off. So we're going to increase our temperature up to about 400 at this point. And let that go and heat up. While that's doing that, we're going to get our image lined up. Okay, so once you get your vinyl pretty lined up, you're going to go ahead and either use heat resistant tape um, or like I do, I just use a little bit of painter's tape. It just seems to grip a little bit better for me and works well for me, but it's whatever your preference is and whatever's going to work best for you. All right, so you should be all taped down. You'll put your parchment paper or butcher's paper, whatever you prefer to use, over your image. And we did go ahead and raise up to 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and we will do the full 60 seconds at 400 degrees. And remove our heat press, slide it off so you're not lifting um, the image when you lift your heat press. So as you can see, the ink has um, bled through the paper quite a bit, which is really good. It just means the sublimation process worked really well. So we'll go ahead and start removing our tape. And when you use painter's tape, do you notice there'll be some sticky stuff, but that does come off as you wash it, wash it. But when you use painter's tape or, but when you use regular heat resistant tape, that won't be an issue. And you'll go ahead and remove your image. And that is how you get those bright colors on dark shirts. All right, so I have it. All right, so this is the final product. I did go ahead and wash it twice, actually. Um, you can see I got the goo stains out from the adhesive from the painter's tape. It wasn't an issue at all. And this is your final product. If you can see there, really nice colors. You get that glittery effect from the vinyl. And it's just a good way to get that sublimation on dark shirts or dark fabrics, whatever you're sublimating on. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.